everyone, welcome back to Fabricating Fringe. It's been a while, it's been a heck of a summer, super fun, super crazy and busy with my family and all my little kids, but hey, fall is right around the corner, it's back to school, and I'm here to show you guys a super beautiful head of hair by a brand that I have always adored, always drooled over, always admired, um, I do have one wig that I received back in last year, last year actually, sorry, mom brain over here, um, and I can say it was my first lace wig, and it was my first time trying a human hair wig, and it was my first time experiencing beautiful customized type color that you'd receive from a really talented hairstylist, a hair colorist, uh, but on a gorgeous human hair wig. So without further ado, this wig unit that I'm sharing with you guys today is from Gardo Wigs. I don't know if you guys recall, but I tried um, a really dark brown wig, dark brunette wig with like bold red right up front last year. It's, it's absolutely stunning. And what just astounded me was the lace front. It looked so realistic and then you could part it every which way and I don't think I have experienced any wig whatsoever that I could part right down the middle and just have it look like it was growing right out of my scalp and that's what that wig looked like. So I have not tried on this wig. I have not even cut the lace. So I'm going to do that today and put it on for the first time, but look at this beauty. I love Rachel at Gardo Wigs. She is number one, just down to earth. Um, she's funny, she's friendly, but she's so talented with hair color. She's so talented at her, at her skill and she makes such beautiful hair. Um, she takes name brand wigs and customizes them. She changes them up and I don't know. It's just so beautiful what she does. If you guys don't follow them on Instagram, uh, go and follow them and then be prepared to swoon. Really. <laughs> when you see the wigs pop up on your feed from Gardo Wigs, you're like, you know, like the drooling. I talk about this here and there, the drooling, but really that's how it feels <laughs> when you look at these wigs. They are so beautiful. Her colors, they look so beautiful. They look so natural. They're so on trend and I don't know. She's got talent guys. She's got talent. So this is a really cute long bob and this is a full lace wig size small uh, I talked to Rachel about this and their size small is similar in size to like the Raquel Welch average so we figured that although my head is an average size in most name brand wigs um, the size small in this lace cap should fit fairly well. This is really fine, sheer, delicate, transparent lace, and it has a silk top. So with that silk top, it looks like that hair is growing right out of a scalp. I don't know if you guys can see that. You have a pretty good size parting space as well. And then just like my other wig that I received from Gardo Wigs, um, it has this nice rubber band which ends up hugging the nape of your head. So it makes this wig stay on nice and tight even if you don't use adhesive. This wig also has adjusters if you need to loosen or tighten it. And then it looks like she has uh, some sewed on clips all around to help keep this wig nice and in place. 
because with these lace wigs, it's not like those ready to wear out of the box stretch cap wigs that you can receive and order. From. This is just um, a very delicate, high end, customized, very realistic type of unit. And without using a, a type of adhesive, whether you use um, some tapes, or a lot of people like to use got to be glued. And there's a lot of other options as well as far as adhesive goes. Having these clips, combs, um, this elastic, that really helps keep it in place if you choose not to use adhesive. Now, if you do choose to use adhesive, these clips and everything still helps keep everything nice and in place so it doesn't shift or move. I did try this wig on over my hair um, just to kind of get a feel for it. And one thing I did notice is that it does not have ear tabs like my other lace wig that I received from Gardo Wigs. So um, I'm assuming that this is meant to be blended with your own biological hair, the, you know, the hair by your, um, the perimeter right there. So that's what I intend to do. Um, do take note that Rachel, all her pieces are very individual. No one piece is alike. So you see something listed, you love it, you jump on it because you know these are all colored by her and they're not, you know, they're not cookie cutter pieces. They're all special, they're all individual and um, they're all uniquely gorgeous. So that goes for the cap constructions, the brand, um, the style, the color, everything is very different. And um, so the prices will vary too, depending on what you're looking at and what's listed and you know all those different things. So although I am reviewing this piece, um, you're not gonna be able to find this exact piece on her website. I just wanted to share this because I wanted to share um, how I put it on, what I think about the quality of the hair, what I think about the color, and um, just the overall experience with Gardo wigs, which um, I've been very, very happy with the wig that I received last year, so I'm super excited to um, try this out. Now, the one last year was really dark, and really bright and really bold and I absolutely love it but as many of you guys know I have been lightening up I haven't colored my bio hair in about a year so this is my natural biological hair color which is kind of a mousy brunette now this brunette is a little bit more warmer compared to my bio hair but I still think that if I do pull out these sides it will blend pretty well but I wanted somewhat of a lighter brunette with some blonde in there, and this is perfect for what I was looking for. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the lace. So wish me luck. Here goes nothing, guys. Hey guys, you're not seeing a lot of this because I feel like I can't do it in front of the camera and get a very precise cut, but this video isn't really to um, demo how to trim a full lace wig. So if you have any questions about how to trim your full lace wig, I suggest you, you know, looking on YouTube for those suggestions okay lace gone she's all ready now what I'm trying to decide is do I want to put this on with a wig grip or do I want to put on one of these maybe for the first round we will try a wig grip. I'm kind of a rookie when it comes to wearing wig grips. 
with wigs. They just haven't been my go-to. I've always worn a wig liner, but I know so many people love them. So maybe I need to hop in the, on that bandwagon and figure it out. I don't know. Like, how do you guys pull up your back hair and feel like it's nice and flat and flush? That's my biggest dilemma. I like the way that a wig liner smushes all that bio hair nice and flat in the back. I don't feel like a wig grip does that for me. But let's give it a go. Okay. Let's do this and open up all the clips. All right, this might be funny looking because, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kind of place it on my forehead where I want and I'm gonna put that rubber band around the back part of my head like so. Well, the wig grip gripped it pretty well. I thought it was gonna slide. All right, so I don't have any of the clips clipped yet. I'm going to pull forward some of this hair. and then clip it. Ooh, it like clips right under that wig grip pretty nicely. It blends pretty well, don't you think? Kind of like the no ear tabs if you have bio hair and if the color of your wig choice matches. All right, clip. See that soft lace right up the front? That's where having some of this tape will keep that nice and flat on your forehead. That part looks really nice. Yeah, it definitely needs to be kind of tacked down because of how soft and floppy the lace is. It's not like your welded, like thicker um, lace that you see on your ready to wear wigs. But because of that, it's delicate, it's realistic, and it's a very natural looking. Look how good that looks parted anywhere. It wants to part on the side because that's the way the knots are directed, but you can redirect those knots the way that you style it. What do you guys think about this beautiful bob by Gardo Wigs, especially colored by Rachel at Gardo Wigs. I love it. 
They are so natural. I mean, this looks like I grew the hair. I think if I wanted to, I could trim in a few baby hairs up front. I love it. I love it. Here, let's show you guys the side. Back. I mean, seriously, that part is amaze balls. For reals. I'm sold. Like, I need more. <laughs> I just love her pieces, the long mermaid ones. Are you kidding me? They are amazing. She's just incredible. I need to go and learn from her. I would love to learn because alternative hair is such a passion of mine. I feel like what she does is so amazing. If I could know that, but I think that it's just something that not everybody can do. Like she just has an eye for the color and she has a skill. And I'm so happy that she shares that skill and um, her talent with the rest of us. You know, uh, she allows us to have the hair that we've always wanted, the styles that we wanted, the styles that we wanted to receive at a hair salon, but couldn't because our hair, um, my hair wasn't the right candidate. To be honest, my hair was too thin. It was too fragile. It could not stand the coloring. I could hardly put, uh, brunette colors on my hair, you know, let alone blondes because it would just break. So the fact that I can receive these gorgeous on trend amazing colors and cuts um through these beautiful realistic units um done by such a fantastic and uh talented hairstylist and wig stylist it's such a blessing really I don't know. I mean, that looks so good. So good. Anyway. What do you guys think? What do you think of, you know, full lace wigs versus your ready to wear stretch cap wigs? Um, do you think they're more work? Do you think that they're more realistic? Um, I think this is pretty easy. I don't have any adhesive at all. If I go like this and it wants to flip, you know, back, but it, that's because of how soft this lace is. But like I said, the softer the lace, the more delicate the lace, the more realistic, the more, um, yeah, the more realistic the look you're going to get. And um, usually the more delicate you know, the more quality as well. Think of like a blouse. Um, sometimes your most delicate, um, well-made, special blouses need to be um, very carefully taken care of. Um, they need to have TLC. They need to be um, taken to, uh, you know, a dry cleaner and things like that because they are high end and um, usually when you have things that have that type of quality, sometimes, you know, it's because they, um, they have the most realistic looking appearance. So anyway, I think that this looks fabulous. The hair feels soft, feels really great. 
and I don't know, makes me want to go and play, go somewhere. <laughs> I just feel good in this piece. It's a great length too. It's a fantastic length. So cute. I will have all the links down below to Gardo Wigs on Instagram, Facebook, their website. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, like I said, this particular wig is uh, unique. But, you know, keep your eyes peeled. There could be something very similar. Um, you can also reach out to Rachel and she can let you know, you know, what she has or what's possibly being created. Um, anyway, uh, just I know that they have sales often as well. And along with that, I do see a lot of gorgeous Gardo wigs pop up on Wig Sanity. That is um, a website where you have gently used um, wigs and hair available. So um, anyway, I see those pop up on Wig Sanity, but so, you know, just, just keep watch because sometimes the right one comes along and hop on it like a blue bonnet because it may be the winning piece, the piece that makes you feel like you. And when you find that, it, it's, it's just worth it. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about this beautiful long bob. And um, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi, everyone. I wanted to show you this beautiful Gardo wig outside. As you can see, an outdoor light. It's just different when you see it even with... Um, good indoor lighting, a ring light, you know, it, it's still different in uh, those lighting situations. Also, um, uh, this is filmed on my phone versus um, another camera. So, you know, kind of gives you guys an idea of this color, this beautiful color and the gorgeous lace or the gorgeous silk. What am I thinking? I mean, there is lace, but I'm one-handed here, so bear with me. Anyway, the wind's blowing, but um, I think it's beautiful. So, so beautiful. I love it. What I think I'm going to do is put some adhesive right there and then go run some errands with my kids call it a day. I just don't want to take it off because it feels that great. The hair quality feels fantastic. Can't get over that silk top. Um, like I said, this is a small cap and it feels nice and snug yet comfortable. Nice and secure as well. I just love it. I love it. Anyway, what do you guys think? Okay, you guys, uh, like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. Um, go follow Gardal Wigs. Um, anyway, I know it's been a long time. I'll catch you next time. Bye.